Yeah, well, good morning, folks. It's Friday. You know what that means. Welcome along to episode number 56 of our F1 Manager 22 career mode. And it's off to Canada for the Canadian Grand Prix. Lovely. Hopefully we can have a better race than we had at... Uh, where's it called? Azerbaijan. But let's have a look at the championship. A Red Bull lead the way from uh, Alpine in P2, then Ferrari, P3, then Mercedes, Alfa Tauri, Alfa Romeo, McLaren, Williams, Haas, and Aston Martin. Who? Yep, sorry, get the score. And in the drivers, Max Verstappen leads the way from Sergio Perez, Pierre Gasly, and down to P3, then Carlos Sainz, Valtteri Bottas, George Russell, Charles Leclerc, Alex Albon, Fernando Alonso, and Lewis Hamilton. Your top 10. So, yeah, I think. Definitely George putting a shift at uh, Azerbaijan. Hopefully he can uh, do it again. But uh, you, you never know with uh, with what goes on around here. So uh, we'll get practised, we'll get qualified, and we'll see you all on the... Sorry, we'll get practised, and then we'll see you for qualifying. Uh, all right, then, it is time for Q1. And practice went all right, I would uh, say. I, I would certainly say it went uh, a lot better than uh, can be expected. Let's just do that. No, I don't want to do that. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, for... Jesus Christ. All right, then. Let's do that. We'll find it out uh, later on. For us. Right, let's have a look. How are we doing? Verstappen hasn't set uh, a lap time yet. I'm very cautious about that. Right, I want to send out... Verstappen could uh, mess the system up here. No, he's coming in. That's alright. Right, let's send him out now then. So Gasly first. Copy. And... Russell next. Russell right behind him. Perfect. Hopefully we haven't left this uh, too late. Have we? Oh, it's going to be a race to the line to get Gasly. Gasly's in. And George, oh, George just crosses the line with five seconds left to spare. That's what you call uh, timing it very nicely. And it's P... What was that again? I didn't see that. Oh, P4 and P9. Wow. George uh, got himself an immense toe there. Interesting, very interesting. So who do we uh, who do we lose there? Wow, Grand Uter, we lose Vettel. Wow, that's big. That's big for uh, Vettel in losing Q1. Uh, we also use, lose Yuki Sonoda, Mick Schumacher, Nicholas Latifi, and Lance Stroll. So uh, all the Canadians are doing Canadian things, which is uh, finishing up uh, at the back of the field uh, in their case, isn't it? Okay, into Q2. Not sure why Gasly was P9, yep. unless, uh, you know, he just couldn't switch the tyres on. <sighs> That's the same drink I've had. All this, uh, all this recording session. From the China, first China video that uh, I did, probably three and a bit hours ago. How, how do you all um, cope with a mass recording session? I'd like... I'd be interested to uh, to know. Do you have um, fluid on standby? Do you take breaks between? Because I sometimes go for big, massive, three, four-hour recording sessions in one sitting, and I'm not sure. You know, if I, I know they say you should take a break, and I will take a break in a few minutes because it's uh, coming up for lunchtime. But I always think to myself that I want to get as much done as possible. I don't know if anyone else is of that. Um, feeling maybe it is uh, just me anyway let's send uh, Russell out first he was the fastest in the uh, Q1 and Gasly will go out right behind him yep we need to start a run says uh, Pierre Hamlin and we're gonna go do just that yeah we've got plenty of time this time George is through Gasly's through let's have a look George goes up to what's George gonna go up to only P10? 
Oh, that Gasly's going faster. He's out. George Russell's out. What happened there? Sit. What on earth happened there? Wow. Uh. Yeah, I don't think I know what I want to say to that. That. Oh my god, that has me. Um. Yeah. So we lose George Lando Albon Magnuson and we lose Joe. I don't know what they want me to say to that. That's that's just come right out of left field, that one. Uh, right on to Q3 then. Oh, and it looks oh, like yes. it's just me and you, okay. Pierre. <laughs> It was just me and George last race. Now it's uh, me and Pierre. Although, if uh, that Pierre Gasly turns up again, he's only going to finish uh, P9, probably. Somehow, I don't think we have the pace for Canada. Uh, I thought he'd run wide then. Ah, I thought he'd run wide then. Oh, he's come right out into traffic. Jesus Christ. Well, he still goes fastest. Faster than Claire, and then Alonso comes along and uh, pisses on that party. Wouldn't it be amazing if he was struggling all the way down? Yeah, we got we're going to be going one stop anyway. Or there may be rain on the way for um, for the race. I'm not uh, entirely sure. But uh, wow, Alonso on pole at the moment. <laughs> that will change. I can assure you that is going to change. Uh, send that Pierre. Send out the man, and then we'll uh, we'll join him down uh, the St Lawrence Seaway for the start of his uh, flying lap. Yeah, get get some heat into them tyres, Pierre. We're gonna need it. I've got to feel him. Yep, boom, boom, right, go out past the wall of champions, and we're off here at uh, Circuit Gilles Villeneuve through the kink onto Turn One. Turn one then leads on to turn two. Nicely looked done over the crest of the hill. Turn three and four will immediately greet you. You can take a bit more curve there than you can actually think. Turn five, nothing corner. Turn six, nothing corner. Into turn seven and eight. And then into the DRS zone. The first of the three DRS zones here. Down to uh, next chicane, turns nine and ten. Little bit uh, tougher that one, although uh, you can carry a lot of speed on the exit on there. Through the kink down into the hairpin of turn 11. Go on, Pierre. And all Pierre's got to do now is foot to the floor for turns 12 and 13, champion chicane. The toughest chicane around, I think. Because uh, you look at it there and you think to yourself, oh, it looks easy. But then you come in and you see there's a wall right on the outside. The wall of champions. Now, he's P7 at the moment. And that's where he will stay. But you know what? We take P7. I'd take P7, definitely. I think that was uh, definitely a good result. Definitely well uh, worth the result as well. So all in all... Uh, very good, Sergio on pole. If we can get a good race in seven and eleven, I don't see why we can't get a jump on Ferrari even more. <sighs> so let's get the uh, strategy uh, done for the boys. Uh, Ninety-eight percent for Pierre, ninety-seven for George. So not too dissimilar, but definitely uh, right. One stop looks like uh, one stop is good. There's no rain uh, expected. I don't know if, uh, I, I apologise if you hear that yelling, guys. I I, I just apologise, that's all I can do. Yeah, we'll go one stop with uh, Pierre. Whack some fuel in him. Three, four laps? Let's go four laps. And you can push from the word go like a stabbed rat. Uh, yeah, all good there. Perfect. 
Right, and then on to... Can we... Oh. We might be able to... Oh, we might be able to really stretch these mediums here. Well, stretch the hards, I should say. I fancy doing that. Go, go for it, Pierre. Go for it. Absolutely go for it. Why not? You've got absolutely nothing to lose there by doing that. And George, we're going to do the same with you. Really push these uh, mediums. And then come out on the softs. And, sorry, uh, sort on the hards. And hopefully, uh, although soft tyres for him could work yeah soft tyres will work for him so let's uh, get George on some softs and see what uh, he can do with them or should we do yeah we'll go with softs no no I, I, I want to go with softs I want to get George on the softs so that he can get through the field and then we can concentrate on doing whatever so, yeah, all the best, boys, and we'll see what happens when uh, when it all comes around for us. And bright as the drivers line up on the grid. And there we have Pierre Gasly. They're in the front half of the pack, so there's plenty of potential for them. And here's the second Alpine. With their starting position in the back ten, they'll have their work cut out for them. The teams are ready to go. This is it. We're moments away now at the Canadian Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. Yeah, indeed, it is. Away we go. P7 and P... Well, no, I think... Uh, where, where'd he go? There he is. He's P10. So, yeah, not uh, not good on the uh, on the front for uh, for qualifying, but uh, we, we'll make it uh, back up in the race. I have every uh, every Everything hope that uh, that that is the case. I don't know if the one stop uh, will be king or if the one stop uh, won't be king. It's a race position gained from But uh, we like to Here's think Ocon's overtaken now, Russell. Oh, this was on the uh, start here. finish though. That uh, oh three wide. I don't uh, expect that uh, sort of. Uh, Thing around uh, Canada, free wide into the uh, into the first corner. That's definitely not uh, something I would uh, want to see. But yeah, I, I I don't understand what happened with qualifying. I don't. But uh, oh, by the way, here munging uh, in the background. I don't think he can. But uh, Yoshi's uh, in here. She's uh, she's having her. She's having a munch. Oh, a bit. Oh, that's a bit close there, George. Don't want to get uh, close to that. Let's go overtake. Let's try and get past Hamilton here down uh, down the St. Lawrence Seaway straight. Oh, yes. Look at this. He's gaining. He's gaining. He's gaining. He, oh, he, can, he can't get any further. That, uh, that just happens to be mildly frustrating. All right, then. All right, guys. Don't worry. We settle in. And we're going to try and make our strategy work here. Gasly uh, is going to lead the charge for us. Okay, lap four. Russell's uh, got past Ocon. He's up into P10 now. Should be... Oh, it's a great move into the uh, ch champion chicane. Round the outs. Up the inside, I should say. Well, it started round the outside. They went up the inside. Free wide almost with Lewis Hamilton. Down uh, the front straight. It is free wide with Lewis Hamilton. Jesus. George is getting stuck in there. Clearly loving that. That's the fight we like to see out of George. That that right there is the fight we love seeing out of uh, George Russell. As uh, now he's dropped to P9. Uh, watch, out watch out for ERS. That's uh, absolutely fine there. Ricardo. See what happens. Uh, going. What we got going on here? Gasly's in P7 still. But he's holding with the leaders, uh, I would say. That's, uh, that's always, uh, good. See if anything uh, else happens. We've got, uh, Stroll and Latifi hanging out at the back of the field there. So something's obviously, uh, cracked off between them. Uh, and I'm not sure why, uh... Yeah, why is this, uh, part here? I, I have no idea. 
we're, we've literally just been uh, rolling around for uh, the ooh, fastest lap of the Grand Prix. That's, that's probably why that part was in here. We showed you the fastest lap of the Grand Prix, George Russell. Legend. Absolute love your work out there. Oh, we've got a yellow flag in uh, Sector 1. Who's that? Like Who's that for? Schumacher is uh, locked Let's up. Take a closer look. So this was the and Martin. we'll be seeing you. They've locked up, but that could have See you there, uh, Mickey boy. Okay, that 15 old Albon's place. overtaken Let's Russell here. Now watch this. Down into Here's the hairpin at the bottom of the Albon. circuit. Textbook uh, move. That's textbook, that is. See, unlike um, Cad unlike Monaco, it, well, I'm, I'm going there on a limb here Moving with um, comparing circuits here, but Monaco oh. and uh, the team are Canada devastated. are not alike. They'll They're short, just what but at least you can there. pass at Canada and like Monaco. Alpine okay, lap uh, 17, Russell's let's back past uh, Lewis Hamilton, former it's teammates into turn... Is that turn six? That is turn six, I think. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Maybe to even turn seven, I'm not uh, entirely sure there. But definitely uh, well done there. And he's back on the back of uh, Esteban Ocon, which uh, you love to see. You, you do love uh, seeing uh, stuff like that. Okay, lap 18, Norris has locked it up. Where's he locked it up? Into the first corner. We'll be seeing you. Wall's over that way there, uh, buddy. Okay, lap 21, Gasly's uh, now on the march. Passing Carlos Sainz into turn one. Who's he going in front of him? He's got uh, Leclerc in front of him. He's got two Red Bulls in front of him. Who's leading this Grand Prix? I can't see who that is leading the uh, Grand Prix there. There's a, there's a car in front of the uh, the two Red Bulls and the uh, the Ferrari. It's not the Alpha, is it? Because I know they're fast again this weekend. And it, it was the uh, Alpha. Who we got to uh, lose it here? All of his own. Lance Stroll. And yes, that's the lockup. We'll be seeing you there, uh, Lancey boy, in your home race. Okay, right. Uh, George has decided now's the. No, sorry, Gasly's sorry has decided now's the time to pit. So we'll get him uh, off his soft tyres onto the mediums. And this is uh, George's uh, perfect lap uh, coming up right here. Yep, open the pit options and onto the hard tyres for you. Gasly's going to come out now. If Gasly comes out around about where Hamill Norris is, he should come out in uh, clean air here. Yeah, he's going to come Let's out in clean air. This is uh, fantastic. Okay, as uh, so we got we going on here, we got Russell uh, passing uh, one of the Alfa Romeos into turn one. That's a great move. It's probably Ricardo because uh, Alonso's chilling up there in the lead. What is going on? Oh, not even I uh, have a clue what uh, was going on there. <laughs> we'll be seeing him anyway. Okay, lap per 25. Norris has binned it. Let's see where Norris bins it into turn three, as you do. And we'll be seeing you. Oh, my God. He almost came back on the track in front of that uh, car. Okay, Vettel's uh, locked up into turn nine as Russell's uh, into the lane. I'm not sure if this is turn nine, but uh, it may very well be. Yeah, Vettel uh, might want to consider uh, moving from that position because that's uh, that might be a safety car. Could potentially be a safety car with where he's uh, parked it up. Yellow flag is out. Keep an eye on it as uh, yeah, Vettel's now crashed. A a look again, it involves Sebastian well, no, he's not. That's just him after he's locked up. That's just him after Thank he's locked up. Nobody else was involved. That was a big crash. Okay. I did that tire get on? Did that tire go on? I want to know if that tire went on. Because that uh, that was potentially a bit uh, de that could be potentially dangerous. I hope it did. Right, back out uh, onto the track for George in P14. Then. Okay, Gasly's overtaken Schumacher. Schumacher not pitted yet. So there we have the Is he banking on a on a safety car or something to get Al Aston Martin's first points? He must be. He must be banking on it. He, he's got to be, hasn't he? 
He, he just has to be banking to on it well for some team. reason. I don't know what that reason is, but he has to be uh, banking on it. Okay, Perez let's has now overtaken Gasly. So let's look at this. This yeah, we got a bit of a got a bit of a train going here, folks. I've lost. Uh, where's that gone? I have no idea where that's gone. It's gone somewhere. <laughs> there they go, moving up a position. Right, Just that's. Uh, I have no idea what that's doing, and that's there like that, and, and the team has such high hopes today. that's there like that, and we can close that up. Let's take a closer look. Now let's As look we've this. got, uh, I think that's going to be Russell passing. Uh, Hamilton? No, Norris, sorry. Russell passing Norris. Which moves them up a position. Nothing to see here, gentlemen. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. There's nothing to see. Okay, uh, what's uh, about to happen here on lap 34? Gasly's overtaken Perez again. Let's take a look at the replay. So Gasly's okay. in this fight. So Alonso to the lead of the Grand Prix, I think. Jesus Christ, Fernando Alonso has uh, come to play today. That Alfa Romeo is uh, is something else, there. isn't it? It's an absolute him. machine out there. That was and that's what we love to see. We delighted. love it when uh, it plays a machine like that. Okay, lap 35. And Here's Gasly's now past Alonso, so Gasly to the lead. Down the uh, main straight into the championship game. Love your work. Come on, Gasly. Gasly had a bad one in Azerbaijan. He's now turned up to play in this one. Stuff you love to see. That right there. Even he liked it. Okay. Oh, are oh, you, George? No, mate. No, George. Okay. Just so got a bit there eager there. Ah! Oh, he's lost his wing as well, I think. Clearly something went very Is he very crashed? Is he out? Are you all right there, George? The Tell me, are you okay? Really are you okay? Are you okay, Georgie? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think he's okay. Then. George is okay, now but uh, Gasly's Pierre now Gasly. past Alonso going in out of the first DRS zone. That's a great move. And there's other cars uh, coming as well. Fantastic uh, race in there. The driver's team there but that's these on. new regulations coming into play very nicely. Stuff you you love to see as uh, we head. Let's keep on uh, with the thing down the St. Lawrence Seaway here. Alonso's having a look. George, he's going to be pitting this lap. I think he's got to uh, place his wing. Yeah, you're not getting close, are you there, son? <laughs> or you might try um, down the uh, the main straight here. Yeah, he's going to try down the main straight. Right, we'll go harvest. Judge want to harvest judge some judge. energy. That's it. Okay. Stick with... Oh, he's, he's going to make a long zone work for it, though, is George. Round the outside. Yep, down into P2. That's absolutely fine. But uh, Alonso isn't getting away, which uh, we love to see. Yes, Alonso overtook Gasly. We saw that live, but let's just see it again for all you Fla Alonso's Fernando Alonso stands out there. Because, you know, why not? Why on earth not? A bold move indeed. Let's show it you all again so you can all get uh, happy about it. <laughs> and let's see the, let's show you the Alfa Romeo fans going... Uh, oh, that's the Alpine garage uh, going a bit uh, loopy there, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's see if he, uh, if he sticks with him here. He should do because he's got, uh, got the DRS. And meanwhile, George... Come on, George. We can come back from this, mate. We can come back from this. You can fight this. Is that a lock okay, so Noda is locked up. Now let's look at this. The Into turn on one. Sonoda. We'll be oh, seeing him. Lost it. Up. Yeah, we'll be seeing there, son. Uh, oh, oh my God! Oh my God! That's a nasty crash. Oh, that that is that's a safety car, definitely. And that's just crash Here's involving multiple cars. What see, happened the there? What happened there? Oh my, the Haas has just the absolutely annihilated everybody. 
what were you playing at? There is no there. fault on the LP, no fault of the Mercedes. Another car was caught up in that as well. It, Gasly's Contact. out, Sainz is out, Bottas out, Magnus is out. That that quite literally might be the worst okay. crash I've ever seen in my, on this game. That that quite literally might be the worst crash. And I like how Sainz and Bottas have been punished and it was Magnussen that came in like a wrecking ball. Did his best Miley Cyrus impersonation, came in like a wrecking ball. What on earth? George now up to P11. But that, that, that was absolutely violent. Okay, we're getting ready to go racing again on lap 44. Thankfully, Gasly is okay. But um, I that has got to be the worst crash you have ever seen on in this. Uh, words fail me at that point. So let, let's have a reset uh, of the top ten as uh, Russell. Uh, we concentrate on George now. Perez uh, leads the Grand Prix from Fernando Alonso. Then uh, Charles Leclerc, Max Verstappen, for Esteban Ocon. Uh, Lewis Hamilton, Lando Norris, Ricardo, Albon, Schumacher. This is Schumacher in front of um, uh, Russell here. I've got nearly got his name wrong. And well, it was Schumacher in front of Russell. It should be uh, Russell there in front of Schumacher. Russell's going to try and make these soft tyres go to the end of the Grand. Sorry, mediums go to the end of the Grand Prix. P10, brilliant. He's got the fastest lap of the Grand Prix as well, which uh, you love to see. So at least there's something there. Yet yeah, Russell overtakes Schumacher. We saw that uh, live there uh, game. You don't need to uh, keep telling us. We'll go neutral on the ERS. And we'll try. Oh my God. I, I'm going to have PTSD every time we go into that so uh, corner now. Because that was. Uh, that crash is going to haunt. Uh, tell, tell, if, you, if you've played this game, please tell me what the most violent crash is that you see but that for me that four car shunt has got to rival uh, the shunts that you see in uh, Belgium into the bus stop chicane Albon is uh, blocking for his life George down the inside he's going around the outside of turn two that's great come on George come on Georgie boy get that to uh, Alpha Tauri love your work he's up to P9 he is flying right now is uh, George Russell you love to see it like okay Hamilton's up. locked up and uh, that might have now given us another this. position I think it will give us another one. position they actually they won't have been happy about he didn't lock up he didn't lock up he he just we'll did see. not lock up what what on earth happened there Okay, Russell's up to P7 now. He's past uh, Norris and Ricardo, So he's on the charge. And he's uh, trying to get up to the back of Lewis Hamilton here. Let's have a look at it. Uh, he's already passed Norris at this point. And Ricardo into the hairpin. That's a great pass. That is a great pass. Now now get up to the these lot in front of you here. We can still get a decent result out of this Grand Prix. We really can still get a decent result out of this Grand Prix if we try our hardest out there, George, and you always do. Okay, lap 57. Now he's up to the, this pack, and now he's overtaken Lewis Hamilton. Down it, down into the chicane. Wow, last of the late breakers. Get in there. Get stuck in there, Georgie boy. You love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. That's the kind of stuff we he, even he liked that move. I certainly really loved delighted. that move as well. That was uh, that was spectacular out there. Oh we got a safety car again! Oh we have a safety car, right. What what are we gonna do? Let's see what uh, all these got. Oh they're pitting. Oh <laughs> they they've just I tell you what, they may have just handed Schumacher's the the uh, perpetrator here. It's going to be down into the hairpin. Mick Schumacher, thank you uh, very much. We will be seeing you. I don't understand that crash at all. Anyone else understand that crash? I don't understand it. What a shame! I uh, I just don't understand that. I don't understand that uh, one bit. But look at this now. George Russell 
essentially last. He's now P3. Oh, now they're in trouble, aren't they? Okay, we're going to go restart with about 11 laps to go. Perez guys, still leads this Grand Prix from Esteban Ocon. George P3, Albon P4, Ricardo Leclerc, Verstappen, Hamilton and Alonso, your top 10. And if uh, Buddy Boy has his way here, he's about to go P2. Go on, round the outside of him. Oh, that's unlucky there, George. We'll get him uh, We'll get him in a minute. Don't worry. We'll get to him in a minute. We'll go Harvest. Charge the pack. Let's Harvest uh, some energy. We've uh, got enough for this uh, Mercedes. D trust me. We have got enough for this Mercedes. Whether we've got enough for this Red Bull. you got to remember, this car's damaged as well. So he's uh, dragging a limping car around uh, Montreal right now, is uh, George Russell. He's going to go for... Uh... No, he's not. Uh, he's not close enough, so let's go back to Harvest. I'm going to micromanage uh, George Russell now for the last uh, 10 or so laps. That's all you can do, really, is micromanage and see what uh, see what becomes of it. Okay, we're going to set ERS to deploy. Deploy it all the way down the St. Lawrence uh, Seaway straight. Oh, he's gaining. He's gaining. Come on, George. Right, now... Oh, can we go... No, we can't attack with the tyres. I'd love to, but uh, we just can't. How about we go for a bit... Oh, he's gone for a dive. He's gone for a dive as George. That is fantastic. He's up to P2. Love your work, George. Absolutely love your work there, son. Oh, that was, that was fantastic on your part. Absolutely fantastic. Harvest again. Yes, Let's I do want to see the replay of that one if you so don't mind their game. The George Russell is fighting. And if us three can get away from that Alpha Tauri while the others are still trying to bed their newer tyres in, in it's going to be a podium literally it. out of nowhere. And a podium I will gladly take as well. You know I'll take that podium. Okay, lap, uh, coming up to lap 69 now. George has dropped to P4. The inevitability was that uh, these guys with the fresher tyres have uh, all come and absolutely uh, handed uh, George Russell his rear end. But uh, he's down to P5 now. Leclerc has got him. Ricardo is on older tyres, I want to say. So we may have to, uh, may have to micromanage uh, him there. We've gone harvest. Now go deploy. Advance the race position. Yep, we saw Leclerc overtake Russell uh, live their game. This is actually for the final podium spot because uh, the two Red Bulls have gone. Verstappen has uh, basically led away uh, Perez. They've gone. Ocon, who is on older tyres as well, he's uh, he's trying uh, to hold off Leclerc. I don't think he's going to hold him off too much now as we look behind at uh, Daniel Ricciardo, see what Ricciardo does into the hairpin please don't anyone come flying in yeah, uh, and good. annihilate us will you because that uh, wouldn't be good Leclerc has now got uh, P3 come on we Harris. can get uh, we can get him come here in. come on George come on son you can do this you can do this we're gonna go full on absolute uh, yeet mode now go deploy last lap of the Grand Prix Verstappen's gonna uh, take the line Come on, George. He's gone for the dive into turn one. Good work. Good work. Now, around the outside, if we can get P4 out of this, that would be an absolute fantastic result. But Ocon is putting a, a defence and a half. Check Where was this line. Esteban Ocon when he drove for Alpine, anybody? This is the Ocon I wanted uh, everyone to see. But no, he didn't, uh, didn't want to entertain us. He won't have... Uh, I'm sure he won't have uh, DRS going down uh, the, this straight, will he? But we just can't get close enough. Oh, we just can't get close enough. Right. Save all your stuff, George. Come on. Save all your stuff and we're going to go uh, for a big one down uh, the back straight here. Right. Overtake available. And it is literally a well. click of overtake. I don't think we're going to get him. I think we may get close, but uh, it's not going to be uh, close enough. No, it's not, but it's, I tell you what. Oh, he's going he's gonna to have a go. He's gone defensive as um, our boy here, but no, it's going to be P5. But what a P5 for George. 
that that is what you call a battle in P5 to bring this limp car home and to bring it P5 that shows the quality of George Russell I think in my eyes Verstappen wins the Grand Prix with it's a Red Bull 1-2 these last two races, they have literally punched us. We gave them a good old uppercut in the uh, gut, and they gave us some stiff knees right in the gut, and then a, a swift kick somewhere else as well. Verstappen has decided that uh, he wants to take the pit lane, as uh, you do. But, uh, man, what a Grand Prix! George Russell had a decent race here. This isn't a bad result at all. This wasn't bad at all from Alpine. Now the question is, how can they make it better next time? Yes, there's no doubt that they have what it takes. I can't wait to see which direction they go in for the next race. At the end of the weekend, it's second place in the constructor standings for them. For the next round, we're heading back to the heart of the UK. Get ready for a race to remember in Silverstone, the cradle of Formula One. Yeah, I can honestly say that. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was a Grand Prix. So uh, Max Verstappen wins the uh, the Canadian Grand Prix from Sergio Perez, Charles Leclerc, Ocon, Russell, Ricardo, Hamilton, Albon, Norris, and Alonso. Remember when Alonso was leading the Grand Prix, and then yeah, he finished P10. I feel sorry for Alonso in that uh, situation. He got absolutely uh, handy to his uh, rear end. Drivers' Championship for Stappen and Perez uh, pull away from Gasly. George up to P5. Uh, good effort from uh, George. But that's mainly because Bottas um, bottled... Well, I would say he bottled it. And look at that. They just came along and uh, slapped it down on the table there. Did uh, Look at the state of that front wing. We'll be sending the bill to Haas. That you can definitely guarantee us doing. Uh, well, not good, but we got a front wing in and a rear wing as well. That will help us for Silverstone. <laughs> that totally didn't sound evil at all, did it? He says it totally didn't sound evil at all, right? What do we got? So we've got, uh, yep, yeah, difficult race. I, I hold my hands up to that difficult race we got absolutely annihilated by uh, Pierre Gasly so uh, sorry Pierre Gasly got absolutely annihilated so let's uh, see we when is the British Grand Prix it is in a few days so we could go I want to I tell you I tell you what I want to do I want to, uh, let's put the front wing on, right, um, I want four, I might rush them, I think four would be enough to get in for the British Grand Prix, and the same with the rear wing as well, one, two, three, four, yep, I'm happy with that. We'll at least have two wings. Whether we have a third or not, I don't know. Uh, Pierre is missing car parts. What's he? Oh, he's missing a chassis. So we got to do his uh, manufacturer chassis. Ah, we only have one uh, one left. So yeah, get it rushed in. We'll make. Uh... Now nah, we'll get an emergency. We'll get four more. Four more on an emergency, let's, uh, this is kind of an emergency, you know what I'm saying. There you go, uh, install on car one, brilliant. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, if you did leave a like, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Back tomorrow with F122, and then we're back on Tuesday with uh, the British Grand Prix next week for F1 Manager. So stay safe, be kind to each other, and we'll see you all around Canada tomorrow.